booze and banter. Hi, Frank. Hey, Roman. What's up, bitch? What's up? Let's uh, start our second episode. Yeah. So to uh, just to touch base and recap a little bit about last week, I'm I'm crystal clear on what a fucking shiwi is. I, I know what its purpose is, and I, I know how it operates. So, um, you know, we we did get a lot of feedback from people, and I appreciate them <laughs> kind of explaining what that is, and you know, through the emails. And uh, also, I, I again, we got feedback on the um, issue with lick versus sniff. I, I, I'm man enough to admit that I did incorrectly ask you if you licked versus sniff. So okay. um, I'm still concerned that you answered so quickly. But <laughs> um, And let's thank uh, listeners for emails. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we got a lot, like, a lot of feedback, many emails, and um, we appreciate all that positive, negative, And, uh, you know, we're going to continue to, to learn from here, and we'll keep growing and uh, make changes as necessary and, and improve our, our podcast for you guys. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Yeah. Yep. We enjoy engaging with you guys, and feedback is what's going to help us improve our podcast and deliver what our audience uh, want to listen to. And let's quickly add some of the details from the emails. Sure. Yeah, some people were, uh, you know, letting us know in their feedback that, that they appreciated the humor and, and starting their day off uh, with listening to our podcast and it kind of helps their, their day start a little better. And, um, again, we appreciate it. And it kind of prompted us to do the second episode this week when we weren't really sure what the reception was going to be. So here we are. Some, our second one. some of my friends send me pictures of toilets. It's got to be interesting. If you want to know more details about it, listen <laughs> yeah. to our first Check episode. Check the first episode, right? Yeah. We mentioned in the first episode about jo- uh, attending the CNY Brewfest. Right. So yeah, that's what we did last night. It was a it was actually a pretty good setup. I mean, I liked it. It was we went to a different night. There's another one tonight, but we went to last night. It was a little less um crowded. Yeah, less crowded, but we were able to sort of focus on some local people and, and, and breweries that were more specific to our area, you know, Syracuse, New York. Um we did identify a couple people that we were talking to and working with and hope to collaborate with uh in the future. But one of those was uh, buried acorn yeah buried acorn actually thank you guys for taking your time on the on the busy day to chat with us even for a minute um and we'll reach out to you later after all this uh f- you know fest stuff is over and um we'll talk more and collaborate but we did went and purchased their beer today yeah so we've got you know we, we spoke with uh sean the squirrel wrangler and <laughs> i love he, that <laughs> he was there with his wife so you know he kind of uh recommended some things for us so right now we've got a, a hot whip it's a uh, ipa six percent alcohol so that's what we're going to start today's episode mm-hmm. with and we'll uh, we'll go on from there and um tell you guys some other yeah things that happened crack this open now we did have a special guest with us last night uh, your uncle it was um yeah he was visiting from florida <laughs> <laughs> and we, we we got lucky we were able to get a ticket for him too there weren't many left afterwards but, but uh I did apologize to him as soon as I shook his hand for what he was about to experience. And, uh, I mean, he was a, he was a, he's a, a sport, a true sport. And he, um, you know, he kind of, just to give people an idea, he looks, he's Armenian, but he looks like an old school mafia guy from, uh, from New York city. He's got a leather jacket on and yeah, the old school retro leather jacket. He's walking with his hands behind his back, you know, all look <laughs> badass. He even had a lot of comments about like people liking his leather jacket. Yeah, he does, does. Yeah, a lot of people were yeah telling him how much he liked that, and and, and uh, he he did have a couple experiences with some beer. He's a dark beer drinker. He like he likes that, and I know a couple times he um he would he would you know man a few words. He'd take a sip, say no, and then just dump it out right in front of the brewery. Yeah, right in front of he was like, yeah. He goes, no, nah, <laughs> no, nah, not this one. <laughs> the, the way these things work, there's a there's a five gallon bucket. That if you don't like the beer, you can just sort of tip it out, and there's also a, a water jug that you can rinse your glass so that you know you don't have the residue from beer to beer. But he, um, you know, really genuine guy. He just you know if he didn't like it, he didn't like it. He dumps it out and doesn't really care what people think. <laughs> you know what? I wish they had food. Yeah, yeah. There wasn't. There was. There were some people there that had a like a buffet, but these are like professional beer fest people. Yeah, they brought beer trays fest. of like nacho dip. Pizza, sandwiches, uh, charcuterie tray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had it was they, a lot of food. Like, you couldn't even see the table. A whole picnic table of shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? My thought was, you have alcohol, and you got to combine with food, right? Yeah. And if people are not hungry, they'll keep drinking. They may have had 
food there today. I don't know. But last night, I was just jealous. I mean, really, all I wanted was like one fucking potato chip. I couldn't find them. I couldn't get it anywhere. Like, we had one bag of peanuts. Yeah, yeah. Bag of nuts is what we had. <laughs> you like nuts in your mouth. <laughs> Even if it's shaped like a hot dog, anything looks like a wiener, I'll put in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, so next time, uh, when he gets you know hosted here next year, maybe. Well, well, no, and there was even a guy there. Remember, he had a, like a yarn around his wrist with like pretzels on it. Yeah, around their necks too, like yeah. pretzels hanging. He's like a little kid, like those little kids. They have those little yeah. candies, like I mean, little candy bracelet. He had a pretzel bracelet. Yeah, couldn't they like contact some like uh, um, restaurants locally and just have them like cater food? I mean, that'd be yeah. great exposure for local restaurants as well. Well, like I said, even the food trucks they 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 had that um, that other brewery there with the um, with the other brewery they had. The, the van, the, the Mercedes van with their, yeah. with taps on the outside of it. Yeah. And, um, you know, if you could bring a car in there, you could bring in a food truck. There's a ton of food trucks that we'll talk about also in a later episode that we can kind of go visit on yeah. these Wednesdays we're talking about. Yeah, that but, was uh, cool. So next time, please have food. Yeah. Like who wants to like, go to a brew fest and bring food with them? That's kind well, of like, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it, certainly we know if that's not what's going to happen, then yeah. we'll bring our own. But yeah. I was I'd not like prepared. to not to and yeah. just support more local business. Even if I bring like a little kitty bag of like those little fucking four-ounce chips you buy for your snacks or so something. Fucking set a picnic table. and just, but they, <laughs> Yeah, they had dipped like bowls of it. Like I just wanted to like, see, like, can I pay you for your yeah, food? Yeah, can you I brought? sit with you guys? Yeah, you're my best friend. But And I wasn't even starving. I just wanted one chip. Yeah. Couldn't find it. Yeah, my brother, um, my uncle raided a peanut table. <laughs> he stole yeah. like four or five more bags. Yeah, I didn't know where that was coming from. He's like, I don't care. They're just laying around. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe they got roofies yeah. in them or something. <laughs> yeah. And um, also, with that being said, we did uh, meet some new friends yesterday. The, some 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 acquaintances, and and it's um, <laughs> one of the funny things is there's a lot of beers here. I mean, we probably had twenty or thirty different tasting beers They're 25 i can i think i count yeah. 25 if i'm wrong sorry um i count 25 but, but they, they are small i mean they're, they're tasting glasses so we didn't have 25 beers but no we didn't <laughs> but there's we did taste it quite a bit we did we did meet some friends and, and we've got a new phrase about uh uh the sours <laughs> yeah the sours is called uh spb which apparently stands for uh stinky pussy beer yeah <laughs> so I, I like stinky pussy beer. <laughs> I mean, I'll power through it if it's yeah. what we got to do. But I, I think it relates to many things. But I think one of them is probably the face you make when you drink it. Yeah. <laughs> like it was a, interesting when we tried to picture how you come up with that taste. Yeah, it's... um. But it's all right. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, I, mean, then, yeah, I mean, many people like it, I'm sure. Um, yeah. It's probably not for me, but we did have a lot of cho- to choose from. And there's a lot of, uh, again, great... Great samples to take, a lot of stouts and IPAs and, and, and pilsners and, um, uh, you know, some, there was no porters, but there was just a lot of, uh, a lot of selection. So we, you know, again, we, we, we work with a couple of people and, and today is going to be, um, you know, this beer is about buried acorn and, and see how this goes. Yeah. It tastes good. Um, six, 6% alcohol. Last night we started with a beer that was 10%. That was pretty strong. Well, that was the first episode that wasn't recorded was 10%. Oh, right. And right. then we went to 8%. Yeah. And then we went to, I think it was 4.5%. So <laughs> so this is good. I like the taste. I like the the, the aftertaste. Like it kind of like, mm-hmm. you know, stays in your mouth for a little longer. <sighs> I hear you like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I like it. Actually, I like it a lot. Just, yeah, it's a little different than the first ones we had. And, and that's what these are about, but... uh. I like this, I would say, more than 80% of IPAs I had at the fest. Yeah. Yeah, there was there was a lot, and, uh, you know, we'll, um, we'll we'll talk about those in later episodes, but uh, I think right now you want to also throw a, a mention to... Um, oh, um, I wanted to give it a quick shout-out. So, a canine officer, Jacko, in uh, Marietta County, Georgia, uh, retiring after seven years' service. And there's few cool facts about him. So his partner is Officer Joseph Powell. And Joseph Powell said that uh, he recalls Jacko once helped uh, track down a suspect for Cobb County Police and located the suspect hiding in the woods along the I-75 highway. That's pretty cool. And another thing, 
Jacko also assisted the Drug Enforcement Administration, Homeland Security Investigations, and the High Intensity Drug Trafficking Areas Program, as well as other local police departments during his career. So Jacko, happy retirement. And his police department, uh, formerly colleagues say he they wish reliable, focused, tenacious partner a retirement full of rest, steak dinners, <laughs> and belly rubs. Yeah. Well, so Jack, he deserves it, absolutely. Yeah. Happy yeah. retirement. Thank you for your service. And Officer Powell, thank you for. And Officer Powell, yeah. thank you. We wanted to add some stuff to give to our email subscribers, uh, freebies and stuff. So I was thinking about doing like episode arts. Yeah, I mean. Um, so from our last episode, things we discussed about, we can create digital art that kind of resembles yeah. things we talked about. And they're <laughs> kind of weird and messed up. Is that what you texted me, the, the, the sumo? The sumo. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So for everybody listening, these are, yeah, these are digitally generated and they're unique so yeah they're unique. uh you you're not gonna be able to find them anywhere else but you should see what 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 is created yeah. by these and, <laughs> and if we mention like gifs or certain images we want to include them uh in those fo- folders and when when they sign up for our email they'll be able to go to mm-hmm. that episode folder and look at that episode's funny art or the gif we mentioned and uh i don't know something we want to kind of spice things up for our email subscribers and you know give them something more to to look forward to yeah um, it's uh it's again it's unique and, and we talked about the sumo and then we talked about the spb already yeah but just to give them a taste this uh <laughs> this this image you already created the ai actually put a vagina on the sumo wrestler so i don't know why <laughs> <laughs> that was not intended. It's I'll, interesting to see. But, all I put yeah. in is licking sumo wrestler's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, well, you know, again, you guys can find that on and the you website. You can find that out, on, you know, how it relates to the first episode after you listen. But uh, those are some things we want to add and and try. Yeah, I want to add more beer right now to my yeah. throat. I want to also tell you a funny story. Uh, it's a short story. There's a bar near my house, and I was over there with a couple of friends and uh, the wait we were just talking to a waitress she was making our drinks but she was all like distracted with the phone and we're like what are you doing and she had, she's on one of those apps where like you slide left to reject dating I'm oh, sorry like, dating uh, app you, tinder or something like that. yeah and then you yeah. slide right to accept yeah yep. i go make our drinks let me, let me see let me, let me pick some guys for you oh, she's like no. oh boy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, apparently i found out through my friends. That you have a profile on there? No. <laughs> the guy I picked, they're now in a serious relationship. Ah, right. <laughs> so that's like another thing we can offer people. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, are you serious? So now next time I'm there, I see her. She owes me a beer. Yeah, yeah. Roma, and I, for those people out there looking for others, Roma can help you. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know? no I'm not a... He picks better as we drink more alcohol. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, was, I was a little drunk then. I, uh, when I did that, I was I was in my closet the other day, and I and I saw a pair of pants, and, and someone bought these pants for me, and I had another pair that looked similar. I'm like, oh fuck, these things are the same, you know, the same color. I'm like, well, maybe I'll have a pair to use outside, or in a pair for inside yard work or something. Mm-hmm. But then I put them together, and they're the exact same pair. Everything's the same except the the colors a little off. Mm-hmm. So like maybe the dye lot is different. But then I'm looking like, ah, oh, these things are from China, <laughs> you know. So. Basically, you know, we like to support USA made stuff. So, yeah. you know, this is a, a a public service announcement to, you know, stay where you play, <laughs> you know, buy local. Um, exactly. You know, I just, I, I don't know why that comes in my head, but like, it's just these weird stories. You'll get, I think you'll stories. get, like, the quality, material quality would be better if uh, it's, you know, made here. Yeah. I don't know, just, well, consistent for sure. Yeah, yeah. My opinion. And, you know, supporting local jobs. Mm hmm. That's always great. I actually purchased um, leather gloves made by Midwest Gloves and Gear. They're made in U.S. It was a buffalo leather. And um, I use them for, like, construction work. I've used them for um, backpacking trip in the winter time. We, we went up north and did snowshoeing. I used, like, to put firewood in the fire and 
so I don't burn my hand. I've used them wearing them while hiking. They actually kept my hands warm. They're not insulated, but I think they retain like body heat. Been using them for almost eight months. They still they stood up, you know, against sharp objects at work and and. I don't know, super happy with so check out Midwest Gloves and Gear. I can't say all their product is made in U.S., but they're out of Missouri, and um, the gloves I purchased made in U.S. So how did how did you find them? How did you locate that company to try? I needed gloves for construction work and wanted to protect my hands, and you know, I was looking for a U.S. made product and prompt me to to search for them. So happy with them. Yeah, and we check. all we all know it's maybe sometimes more expensive to buy us mm-hmm. uh, it, it, you know it is what it is but i don't mind spending what's reasonably acceptable to get a better quality glove that's going to support people in our country yeah C- quality and keeping money circulating in the united states is great absolutely oh and and we'll be bringing product in um after we have reviewed so we just started these episodes i i've i have purchased some us products mm-hmm. variety of things mm-hmm. you know like um, storage bins, containers, things like that, dog food. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, completely random, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, random we'll do, stuff, you know? just we, you know, I take my time and I look in the back where it's made, um, find out, make sure it's not, you know, based out of U.S., but manufactured in a different country, and uh, actually get stuff that's manufactured here, you know, designed, manufactured, based out of the United States. At some point, uh, yeah, I'd hope we could even do some uh, handgun reviews. I know they're not always U.S. made, but we will do mm-hmm. what we can for U.S. made stuff. But we're it's something we're very familiar with, so uh, we can actually give some honest uh, feedback mm-hmm. um, to to our listeners or our viewers and yeah. let them know how that is. For sure. Um, and you wanted to add something this morning. Yeah, so I was thinking about this last night. Um, I, I, I think we should start some segment that's called uh maybe she said i heard he he heard <laughs> she said i heard i don't oh. care if you're a man or a girl whoever okay. fucking heard it but i know it's something she said mm-hmm. or what she says she said but specifically my wife this was this was last night and you might have even been here but we were gonna get something to eat and i asked her if she wanted something and she told me that she said i already ate and what I heard was, right, did you hear that? Because it's fucking nothing. She didn't tell me. It never <laughs> happened. But this is typical. Like, <laughs> there's, a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of times where I honestly do not hear her or listen to her say shit. Just this is not one of them. You just turned her out? Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. Like, she, I think she thinks she told me, and she means to tell me, but I probably interrupt her or we just say some dumb shit and she gets off track. So it never actually got out of her mouth to my ears. But last night was not one of those. I don't think she told me. But, like, for instance, like, she said, do you think it's a good idea to have another beer? And what I hear is, it's a good idea to have another beer. So then, game on. Let's hope for <laughs> something beer. completely opposite. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, yeah. There's some miscommunication there. Well, keep track of those and then write them <laughs> down, and then we can add them. Yeah, I, um, and, and again, it, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff I probably just don't retain and she says but i know i'm right last night we say a lot that's what she said that's what, she, that's what she's right <laughs> yeah i need to get we in there keep track of those jokes. you need to get in there now that's what she said that's what she said <laughs> Here, or put that in my box yeah right How big is your box <laughs> that's what she said or earlier today you said you said uh i like the taste in my mouth or i like it in yeah. my mouth longer i said that's what she said <laughs> yeah Share your she said I heard stories. Or I know this applies to the ladies also because you love us. You can share your he said I heard stories. Yes. And they can post that on social media. Social media, you can email however you want to reach out, we'll get it. That'll be funny. I'm looking forward to reading. Yeah. And we we find maybe we can vote like some really funny ones we'll share. Yeah, we'll share and, and you know, we all know guys are idiots, so <laughs> We'll go from there. I am. <laughs> when it comes to stuff like that. <laughs> Speaking of funny ones, do you remember last night? I mean, we did have 25 beers we were sampling, so you're kind of on the edge of you know, tipsy and not. But do you remember speaking about Q- QR codes? Yeah. yeah. We, talked about, we were talking about tattoos. And I said, it will be funny if 
I tattoo a QR code on my ass cheek. And if you scan it, it's your face pops up. <laughs> and you have a tattoo of a QR code. And if someone scans your ass cheek, my face pops up. <laughs> That's fine for the logo, but I don't know whose butthole the beer is going on. I and, don't want it in my... And when is someone's ass cheek is going to be hanging out to scan? Hey, get your phone ready. Scan my QR code and you pull your pants down. <laughs> so, along, so along with Roman hooking you guys up on Tinder and, and matching you up, then, you know... <laughs> Well, let's take a poll also if uh, you think we should do these QR codes on our butts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious to hear what people have to say. All right. I think we're good. This this beer's almost gone. I uh, love the hot whip from Buried Acorn, and uh, this is probably where we're going to end this episode. Yeah, we're running out of beer. So thank you, Buried Acorn, for your time. You set up your stand yesterday and to chat with us for a minute, and uh, we're looking forward to hearing from you. So. And we'll see you guys next episode. Thank you. Thank you. Let's keep this going and uh, see you then. Bye, Bye bitch. Bye.